What's up everyone, my name is Alex AJ and I'm vlogging for the first time in a while. Roll the intro. Yeah. Okay, okay. Shotty got me feeling, got me feeling away. Please spare me now, I don't want no games. So as you can see, I just changed because it's really chilly now. It reminds me of Northridge, which I miss. For a quick catch up, I'm back home in the Bay Area and I'm taking 15 units at Northridge and I also have my part-time job, but it's still virtual. So everything is virtual and I'm just chilling here. I actually have an announcement to go into detail later. But first, I'm starving, so I'm gonna take you downstairs to where I'm gonna cook. So this recipe is from the internet. I got it because I missed this dish at Oi Fusion Eatery in Northridge. And it's basically just beef and rice and an egg. What's special about this is it's a modern take on a Filipino dish. I've done this a lot of times before during quarantine and all you have to do is marinate the beef and then you strain it and then you just fry it in a pan. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So yeah guys, this is beef top silog and it is really really tasty. I honestly, I highly recommend. <clears throat> After this, I have class at 12.30 and I have a few assignments to do, but I also want to get into what I'm about to talk about, which is, as the title of the video said, my film application. So more on that. Okay, so class hasn't started yet and it's been about 14 minutes. I think there's technical difficulties again because that's happened in the past with the the machine updating on his end, but yeah. So it's currently 3 p.m. and... So it's currently 3 p.m. I don't know what happened to class. I waited 30 minutes and then I just left. But it was Asian American media. I really like that class, so I'm kind of bummed out that we didn't have it today. But for now, I'm just going to be working on these two assignments that I have due today, both today and tomorrow. So. You have a million different faces, but they'll never understand. everyone I'm here at Shin Park mainly because it's aesthetic and I just wanted to tell you that last Friday I was accepted into the film production program at Cal State Northridge and to explain why it's so significant to me I needed to give you a bunch of context first so when I entered CSUN I began as a provisional film major that meant that I wasn't exactly a film major yet and I would have to apply in two years so that meant I had to take classes like GE's and the basic film production classes that didn't require permission to get in. So back in March I submitted my film application and I had to wait three weeks and after those three weeks 
I was rejected. And we got an email saying that we were rejected mainly because there were 175 spots open and only 50 spots that they could fill. So of course, like my chances were under 33%. This really got me down for weeks because I had to basically change my major to TV production and I had to sign up for classes that I didn't really want to take. So I figured that I would just settle as a TV production major, like there's nothing else I can do about it. But some of my friends, especially Kuya Dom, encouraged me to reapply into the film program because what, what did I have to lose? So in the film program, we have three main skill areas. There's cinematography, there's editing, and there's sound. But for the spring 2021 semester, which I would be applying to, they were adding a new skill area, and that's producing. So after thinking of it carefully, I decided to choose producing as my first option. I chose it because this is actually something that aligns with the career that I want in the future. Being a producer is my dream career, alongside directing and writing. Previously, I had chosen editing as my first option, but I was so glad that producing was added for this semester. So I wrote, shot, and edited a second photo story, and I also spent a whole week working on the written responses. All that time and hard work, that paid off. Last Friday night, my friend Ian texted me. He said, hey, I got in and I realized it was that soon. So I checked my email and for the few seconds that I was waiting for it to refresh, my heart sunk. I was holding my breath because I was trying to brace myself for another rejection. But fortunately, it said I even have the email right here. I'll show you the email because this has been one of my favorite emails that I've ever received in my life. Film portfolio review acceptance producing. So I got in to my first choice. And this does mean that I will have to take another semester in order to graduate, but I'm fine with that because this whole year, these two semesters are all virtual. This means it's not as good as in-person education. And taking this extra semester will mean that I get even more hands-on time with all the equipment and learning with professors in person. So I wanted to take advantage of this video to tell you to keep doing better. Seriously, as cheesy and overuse of a message that it is, don't give up. I'm really glad that I didn't give up because look, I'm, I'm a film production major now. I didn't think it would happen six months ago when I was rejected, but here I am. Like if I could tell my past self, I would say do what you're doing still, but strive to be even better. Because if it's something that you want to spend the rest of your life doing, if it's something that you're passionate about, like, why would you give that up? Like, if it's the only thing that you care about, why compromise? Why settle for less? And if you keep getting rejected, don't let that define you. A school, a program, grades, that doesn't define you. Just see if there are any other opportunities that are waiting for you and take advantage of those. Hey everyone, it's the Memoji version of Alex here and I just want to say thank you for watching today's vlog and stay tuned for more content. And while you're here, please like, comment, and subscribe because that really helps me out. Ciao!